Goma was teaming with M23 rebels and their commanders who were preparing to hand over the eastern DRC city to the Congolese National Police. The handover was endorsed last week by leaders of the Great Lakes region but didn't happen today due to a lengthy meeting that officers from the UN, the Great Lakes region and the M23 leadership held. The arms are going to be with us until they totally withdraw from the positions they were, they were holding. M23 has accepted to, to agree with that arrangement. And what we are protecting now is uh, to make sure that they don't clash. Which one is going to leave Goma today? Not tonight. It's late. It's late, but tomorrow by 10. Youthful M23 rebels are armed to the teeth, and their presence on the streets of Goma sends shivers down the spines of many of these locals. Bali, yeye hali ambayo tumeishi katika mjini ilikuwa ni ya kuogopesha sana kwa sababu kulikuwa watu fulani fulani ambao walikuwa na magari wengine wanaendesha maduka na biashara huko lakini tulikuwa kuangalia ya kama kuna kuwa mambo fulani fulani ambayo aitembee The devastation caused by this war is clearly seen at Health Africa Hospital where scores of civilians with gunshot wounds are being treated this conflict led by the M23 rebels of Eastern DRC has brought a lot of suffering to the people of Goma City where in one of the wards where men who were caught up in the crossfire are being treated for free by the health officials for serious gunshot wounds and bomb injuries. Now this sight is quite pathetic. We are seeing children as young as 9, 10 and even 13 with very serious injuries here. One such child is this one here whose hand was blown off after a bomb hit it. Peti niambie jina lako ni nani? Jinangu Elia. Elia ulikuwa wapi wakati hiyo bomu ilipiga mkono wako? Niko kama ofisi. Ofisi hapa Goma? Mm. Na sasa unajisikiaje? Nisha nisikia bie. Pole sana. While the M23 rebels say that they have a genuine cause to fight against the government of the DRC, its people such as Elia who bear the brunt of this conflict. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, Goma, Democratic Republic of Congo.